and no doubt those markets are reacting. We're going over to Roger and Mike. Indeed they are. Thank you very much, Mel. Good morning, Mike. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, Roger. How are you? Very good. Uh, let's talk about uh, Nike stocks. Mm -hmm. Taking a bit yeah, of a move. Just uh, briefly on the markets, uh, what Melanie was saying there, the, the stock uh, prices did drop yesterday. This mm -hmm. morning, not doing much of anything, actually. Oh, kind of wait. Well, they want to see. see I, right? I, they want to see what uh, the transcript, I suppose, shows today, and whether this actually moves forward, or if they have a case on the Democrat side. So, what do you think happens with the markets if they have a case? Well, then I think the uh, uncertainty will certainly send things lower. Uh, we did see that yesterday uh, to some extent. Uh, anytime you've got a president that is uh, facing impeachment, is uh, not a good thing. Uh, for Which thankfully, an doesn't happen very often. Stamp. No, of course it does not. But at the same time. Uh, the uncertainty, and, and let's face it, I mean, these stock markets have gone up during uh, uh, the Trump tenure in office. So, I mean, you know, investors are going to be going, okay, what's next? Yeah. But again, we've seen how many times a single tweet can move things one way or the other. It is interesting times yeah. we live in. Indeed. All right, uh, BlackBerry, yeah. still a thing. Yeah, well. Sort of, maybe? Yeah, I think Kinda. that's the best way to put it because they are losing a lot of um, support, I suppose, from the markets right now because of the shares uh, dropping over 22% yesterday. Not good. Lost money in the quarter. Sales momentum slowing. So, you know, there was a hope here that it could sort of regain its former glory. Of course, it doesn't make cell phones or smartphones anymore. All about software uh, and security. But at the same time, looking at a, a downdraft on the share price and uh, uh, people are kind of going, okay, what's next? Do they get bought out? You know, that's going to that's gonna be talked about again when, as the share price continues to fall. What a change. Yep. For, I mean, even 10 years ago. Really, oh, gosh. Right? Well, I mean, the, the iPhone's been around, what, 12 years? So, yeah. you know, things um, happen so rapidly in the tech space. Uh, I love this uh, out in British Columbia. You see, yes. Bud. Still the, still the go-to, trust your dealer, right? Yeah, old habits, hard to break, I suppose. The latest uh, Stats Canada data on uh, who's uh, buying the most weed on a per capita basis uh, in across on a provincial basis. Uh, the slowest sales are actually in British Columbia. They've had some uh, issues rolling out uh, legalized uh, pot sales and uh, just nine per person as opposed to Prince Edward Island at over $9 per person of legal weed sales per month. Perfect. Perfect. All right, Michael, thank you very much, sir. Thank you.